Hello. In this video, we'll look at some of the tools that are available to help you promote use of your DocuSeq 2 licensed content to your users. Specifically, we'll be looking at the uh, how to access promotional materials that DocuSeq 2 makes available. In our previous video in this series on discoverability and promoting use, we looked at MARC records in DocuSeq 2. Uh, look for those on our YouTube channel if you're curious about how to access the MARC record information in DocuSeq 2. In this video, we'll look at uh, some of the promotional materials that we make available. On the menu bar uh, that appears at, towards the top of most pages, there's a promo link if you click on this link, you will see thumbnails of PDF files that we make available of promotional material that highlight different portions of the DocuSeq 2 collection. In particular, we've got our flyers for our thematic collections. And here we see uh, uh, three of those, the aging collection, anthropology, and architecture. And then we also have flyers that highlight the uh, the content from specific distributors, for example, the Bullfrog Films Collection, the Icarus Films Collection, and the films from Cartemquin Films. To look at the PDF, just click on the thumbnail, or you can click on the title link here, and it will open up the PDF file. You can either use your browser's tool for downloading that PDF, in which case you can uh, print out the flyer and display it in the library, for example, or email it to uh, faculty that you think might be interested in it. Or if you're on the promotional page, you can right-click with your mouse and use the Save Link As option. This is in Firefox, but um, browser, most browsers will have a similar kind of option, and just download that file to your computer for use. If you are an administrator for your, for your university or college's DocuSeq2 account, um, if you're logged in, you'll have an option of emailing directly from DocuSeq2. So I'm going to log in as the administrator for the demo account that we use. And once I've logged in, I will now see an email PDF button that appears for each of the PDFs. Click on that button to open up a dialog where you can enter an email address, um, a subject, and a message that will accompany the attached PDF file that gets emailed out. Note that you can only send emails to people that share the same domain as you. So if you're, for example, um, the administrator for American University, you can only send emails to people with a domain name, um, an email address at American.edu. Okay, now in this case, the domain for our demo account is gocatgo.com, so I can only send emails to addresses uh, in that domain. So let's, we've got a faculty at gocatgo.com, some films you might be interested in, here's some information. I can, of course, edit that if I'd like to. Um, And then I need to put in my CAPTCHA phrase from the image here to make sure that I'm a human being and I'm not trying to spoof this in some way. Click Send. I get a little message. My email has been sent. Okay, let's go look at the email account and see what that looks like. Here's my demo account. Um, let's see if I've gotten some new mail. And here is the mail that I've just sent with my tailored message. And you can see my attachment here. Okay. So that uh, is it for this particular tool. Again, um, it's an option for accessing promotional materials about DocuSeq2 and also a tool for sending though, that information to faculty or students at your institution. Um, note that the flyers right now are commercial flyers that we do, so they may reference films that you don't have in your license collection. Um, 
you might still want to send them out if you want to gauge interest among your faculty for the content that we have on DocuSeq 2. Um, or if you do have access to the entire collection, um, these flyers, of course, uh, will highlight content within, within those collections. Okay. If you have any questions about this, feel free to contact us uh, via the contact link that appears at the top of most pages. Um, and we'll be happy to try and answer any questions you might have. Thanks for watching this video and hope you enjoy working with DocuSeq 2.